on UL Monroe with an 0-1 record, something that the folks really aren't used to in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Mattingly. Sliding up, Duca. Mattingly again. Good job by Michaela Mance to keep her honest. Clem. Now the Crimson Tide playing possession. Good job by Slopin to throw the leg out. Allows the Hokies to get the ball back, if only for just a second. I mean, it's, I'm gonna sound like a broken record by the end of this half, but that's really all Virginia Tech has been able to even look for in this game is that ball up top, just play direct, see if you can find someone, and it just has not been on for them. Meanwhile, Alabama's doing this. Mattingly with a good pass into the box, and Manny McGlynn comes down with another save. That was Giamona that nearly made it 1-0. And it's just more great interchange from these midfielders and the forwards. Mattingly drops in, little layoff, and again, the defender's just kind of getting pulled out of position a little bit. That's all some of these players need for a shot at goal. Well, Giamona almost had her second collegiate goal there, scored against Lamar. Henning whiffed. Talk about Giamona, that, that's another talented high school player as well, another freshman. She was actually a U16 and U18 U.S. Women's National Team call up, so we know she can play. Giamona only had Henderson in front of her, Manny McGlynn. This just plays like that, why she was slated to be the top ACC goalkeeper for the second straight year. Absolutely, and it was, it was a good idea. Giamona just didn't quite get wrapped around it as much as she wanted to put it to the back post, but on the ground, always tough for the goalkeeper to deal with, and McGlynn, Coming up big in this first half so far for the Hokies. Alabama's already logged three shots on goal. See if the Hokies can have one here. Koslova eyeing Johnson. Just over 10 minutes to play in the first half. Still all equal at nil-nil. Tied inching closer inside the attacking third. Giamona. Now in midfield for Neely Martin. Wirtz. Henderson in the way. And Kelsey Irwin lofts the pass out of harm's way again for Virginia Tech. Kosilova. Now for Emily Gray. Energy building for Virginia Tech. What a move. And a clearance from Alabama. You can see how constricted Alabama gets now when Virginia Tech finally gets possession. It's everybody behind the ball. They're not going to chase here at midfield. They're going to sit in. And so far, it's been working really well. And you'll see their back line when the ball gets moved forward. They're so tight together, it's hard to break that line. Alabama has been playing great tactically and technically so far this game. They need to find a way to finish, though. Giamona. Duke it now for Alabama. Spread out for Wirtz. Mattingly. Duca in front, keeps it on the ground, and Manny McGlynn is there again. Alabama continuing to just be patient. They just work the ball around. They work the ball around to get opportunities like this, and they just do it with such, I mean, such character and such poise. They really, despite a lot of young players on the field right now for them, they're playing beyond their years. Kozlova, one-on-one. -on -one. Goal, Hokies! Goal, Hokies! 
second goal of her Virginia Tech career. And the Hokies sneak out to a 1-0 lead with 8.40 left to go in the half. That is a really opportune time to get a goal just before the end of the first half. And with Virginia Tech really not looking too strong here in this first half either. It's just a turned over ball and Kozlova, if she gets one on one, she's putting it away. Great effort, great effort in midfield as well. Of course, it's the impact sub, Mance, who's making things happen, stirring it up and poking that ball forward. Well, it looked like the Crimson Tide just forgot she was there. Yep. Second goal of her college career, 37th minute. And now we'll get some breathing time here to close out the first half. And if you're Coach Hart, it, your defense has played so well throughout this game. They've communicated well. And in that instance, two players went to the ball where if it was going to turn over, Kozlova's just wide open for a one-on-one -on -one break. I think they just didn't realize that both of them were stepping. They get there, they, it kind of gets tangled up, and then it pokes free. It's, it's a pretty unfortunate one for the Crimson Tide, but hey, if you're the Hokies, that's fantastic for you. You got the ball upfield and you pressured to force something. Sometimes the defensive work effort results in offensive production like that. And you talk about an absolute break. Alabama has just been flat out the more efficient team in the first half. I mean, there's really not much debating that. And then a quick breakaway, Kozlova puts it behind Plavin to make it 1-0. Henning on a break now. Little over seven and a half minutes to play in the first half. Now Mattingly. Good job by Mance to get in the way. It was Allie Burke trying to thread the ball up. Alabama continuing to push the ball forward though like they've done all game. Good goal for the Hokies, but certainly there's some danger left in this half, the way Alabama's been playing so far. Speaking of danger, Mattingly trying to turn around. Well, just a swarm of Hokies surrounded Mattingly. Had space for just a second, and it was not enough. Yeah, a little wind in the sails after the goal scored, and now the defense is getting a little more aggressive, you can tell. Lopen. Spituro passes down to Bryn Martin. Lily Weber freshly into the match, the senior for the Hokies. Rowan, Alabama. Weber actually celebrated as part of senior day today, something different that Chugger Adair is doing. Instead of having one whole day dedicated to all the seniors, they'll get their own game throughout the season, and today was Lily Weber's day. And it'll be Duca's day as well. What a matchup. Close to Mandy McGlynn and kicked out by Irwin. Rowan, Alabama. Duca with some nice physical play there. It's uh, it's not an easy thing to do to match up there. I believe it was Henning that she was matched up against. Henning's a tough player. That's someone that you're gonna go body to body with. You're not winning most of the time, but tough, tough play there. Duca. At the box again, Jalen Thompson. Good defensive effort for the Hokies. Burke, another corner kick for Alabama. This has been time and time again, just possess patiently around the box, see if you can work something in, and now a corner kick opportunity. And before the end of the half, this is a really important one for the Crimson Tide. Already their fourth one. Looking for a head. Just missed the opportunity again. And a foul called on Alabama. 
That was Steigerwald that went to the deck for the Hokies. Yeah. And shoved down by Macy Clem. Yeah, that's a little arm extension. Can't, can't put out the chicken wing like that. That's going to be a foul every time. Alabama putting pretty good balls into the box, but just not able to connect with it solidly on any headers yet. Reyes is a good player to look for those, though. She was going up trying to get onto that one. What a stout first half, though, for Mandy McGlynn. Time and time again, Alabama has presented dangerous situations, and Mandy McGlynn has gotten in the way right at the last moment. Henning. Duca passes back. Muscaturo up to Bryn Martin. So much free space for Alabama when they're able to work the ball a little bit. Reyes just with a lot of room. Good tackle to get it away, but uh, that's something where the center mids just continue to get in open positions. Seems like Alabama has operated a good amount of this match in the attacking third. Yeah, and the possession, I'd kind of be interested to see the distribution of possession in the different thirds. I've got to think most of it, the majority, is in that attacking third for Alabama. They've just been so patient. It's been really fun to watch. Reyes now off the throw-in. Fifth corner for the Crimson Tide. Reyes especially, she didn't jump out to me immediately as the game started, but she's really grown into this first half and, and gotten more touches on the ball. She's one to watch. We talk about national team players. She played for Mexico before for some of their youth teams. So um, it's just, just another talented player. Manny McGlynn, talk about talented players. She was over top of Allie Burke that time. Made the grab and now with just over two minutes again, another opportunity thwarted for Alabama. Yeah, talented, tough, tenacious. Mandy McGlynn has been a rock in the back so far this season for Virginia Tech. And if they're going to weather the rest of this game out, if Alabama's played the same way they did in the first half, it's going to be because of Mandy McGlynn. She's going to have to make a few more saves. McGlynn, the reigning ACC first team goalkeeper, picked to do so again. Row in for the Hokies, ever so close to the corner. A minute and a half left to go before halftime. Virginia Tech is taking their time with it with a 1-0 lead. If you're just now joining us, Nicole Kozlova found an early or a late break. Scored her second goal of the season, second goal of her career. Another throw in. Still dangerous positions. This is where we've talked about set pieces a few times already. Throw in, still a good opportunity. One minute bounce remaining it to Michaela Mance. Hammond. <laughs> Alabama with 40 seconds left to try to equalize before the end of the half. Henning. Pushed down by Duca and a foul call. Smart play just to ride that ball out of bounds. And if, if the player goes through you, it's a foul. So you win the free kick. Good play there. Now under 20 seconds left. Loki's not certainly in any hurry at this moment as Steigerwald chases down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Throw in Alabama. And that is it for the first half. 1-0 Virginia Tech, and they lead Alabama here after the big goal from Nicole Koslova. And a solid first half play by Alabama, but the Hokies are up. 
We yeah. are here with Chugger Adair, the head coach of Virginia Tech. And coach, what did you make of that first half for your team up 1-0? Well, I think for sure uh, you said it. Alabama was solid that half. Uh, I think the movement in the midfield caused some problems for us, and we've got to do a better job of defending in that space there. Um, you know, I think we've we hung in and defended well, bent a little bit at the back, but we didn't break, so I'm happy with that. Mandy's done well. The defenders have done well of keeping us self, ourselves out of trouble. Uh, but we've got to do better defending higher up the field and also in our possession. We weren't as sharp as we need to be. Nice that we got the goal a little bit of against the run of play there, but, uh, you know, we're up 1-0. We'll take it and uh, go into half and regroup a little bit. Yeah, Coach, I was going to ask about the possession in that first half. You guys have played a lot of other games with a lot of possession. This one, not, not as much. Was that just because of Alabama's pressure and their movement in the midfield? I think the pressure is for sure one of the reasons. I think we're missing a lot of easy passes, though. We've missed some uh, some gimme passes that would help with our possession. We're a little lazy off the ball as well, so we've got to continue to uh, move and help and uh, be a little crisper in our passing as well to try to break their, their pressure. All right, thanks, Coach. Good luck. Second thank, half. Thank you, guys. Hokies up 1-0 after the goal from Nicole Koslova. Now we'll go into halftime in a good one here in Blacksburg. That is beautiful. Yeah, boy, he was Johnny on the spot right there. I yeah. thought he had the headset on when he was coaching. <laughs> How many does she have? She's had, she has at least 